Hello Shemesh friends, today I'm going to be reading One Good Deed by Terry Fields and illustrated by Deborah Melman. One Good Deed Even on sunny days, Lancaster Street seemed dark and gloomy. Neighbors did not smile at each other, or talk to each other, or help each other. But one day, as Jake climbed his mulberry tree to pick its ripe fruit, he saw old Ms. Thompson outside of her house next door. Suddenly, he had a thought he'd never thought before. I bet she's sad she can't climb trees, he thought. I could take her some of these delicious mulberries. When Jake arrived, Miss Thompson was surprised. She was delighted. She had enough fruit to make two mulberry pies. Then she had a thought she'd never thought before. I loved getting these mulberries. I bet Mr. Riley next door would like one of my pies. When Miss Thompson arrived, Mr. Riley was surprised. Mr. Riley was delighted. As he ate the delicious pie, he looked out the window and watched the kids next door playing ball. Suddenly, he saw the ball land on the roof of his garage. Then he had a thought he'd never thought before. I bet I could help him, help them. I could get my ladder and get their ball. When Mr. Riley handed them back their ball, Jeffrey and Joshua were surprised. They were delighted. As they tossed it back and forth, they saw Mr. Lee hobbling on crutches to his front door. Then they had a thought they never thought before. Mr. Lee can't rake the leaves in his yard, but we could. When the boys arrived with their rakes, Mr. Lee was surprised. Mr. Lee was delighted. Soon they were joined by Sammy Cohen from next door carrying a rake. My computer is broken, he said, so I can't finish my homework. I'll help you rake. Then Mr. Lee had a thought he never thought before. I'm good at computers. Maybe I could fix Sammy's computer. When Mr. Lee arrived, the Coens were surprised. The Coens were delighted, and before you knew it, the computer was up and running again. When Miss Cohen sat down to check her email, she looked out her window and saw Ashley from next door, riding a rusty old bike. Then she had a thought she'd never thought before. We have a practically new bike that Sammy has outgrown. It would be perfect for Ashley. When Ms. Cohen arrived with the new bike, Ashley was surprised. Ashley was delighted. She rode her new bike around the neighborhood, waving and smiling and calling hello to all her neighbors. The neighbors were surprised. The neighbors were delighted. Everyone waved and smiled back. Soon, even on gray days, Lancaster Street seemed warm and sunny. How had that happened? No one knew. Not even Jake had realized that it had all begun with a basket of mulberries and one mitzvah, one good deed. The end. Aw, it sounds like one good deed can spread to many good deeds. Sometimes when we do nice things for other people, that makes them want to do nice things for other people. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, Shemesh friends.